He's in the water, run up there and see if he's still, see if he had made it across yet. Did he make it across? Yep. Is he still kicking? <laughs> it's really bad. It's getting him out of there. Huh? It's just really bad. It's getting him out of there. I can get him out. You're gonna do it for me. <laughs> You're gonna do it for me. You're yeah. Not make me fill my boot up with water. Yeah, I'll do it. Michelle and I have been slipping down through the woods here, and over the last couple of weeks, we've pushed a big boar up down in here a few times. I'm not sure that this is him, but. We were trying a new sound that we actually recorded in the wild about a week ago, I guess. And it's the most incredible sound that I've been able to record in the wild. And we haven't had much opportunity to test it, but it's real calm today. And it's a, it's an aggressive sound, but it's from several different... Uh, there was a whole bunch of sows in there going at the same time. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of hogs sounding off. They were actually responding to sow hysteria and they didn't really want to leave their cover and they were at different distances so the sound sounds far and near and over here and over there at the same time and 
it gives the illusion of a lot of pigs scattered. scattered. And we had been calling and I was about ready to move already. It had only been eight minutes, but I was about <laughs> ready to go. And this boar came slipping through and he was trying to get downwind of that call. He was, we're, we were up on this bank up above us and there's bedding areas along this creek bed. And he was slipping in and I saw him and I don't think Michelle saw him right away, but it, it was about eight minutes. Not at first. I got to where I could see him, but I was trying to make sure you were could were on him with the camera before I saw it, so. Uh, anyway, she's shooting a brand new seven mag from uh, Alamo Precision Rifles. It's topped with the Voodoo three by three and a half by 18. And uh, man, that's a light gathering son of a gun. It's crystal clear. Uh, that's your second hog you've shot with that setup. And yeah. Was, she shot him and he, I'm assuming hit him behind the shoulder and he ran down this bank and crashed right there in the water. You can see him and he was still wiggling when we got down here, but. I'm, I don't think he's wiggling no more. No, she's gonna make me wait out there and get him, so. <laughs> I have holes in my boot and it fills up with water. Oh, I'm a... oh. <laughs> Did it? That's true love right there. Thank you, baby. I laid out here in this old nasty mess. My feet are soaked. These boots haven't been waterproof for a long time. Well, it wouldn't be so bad if He's it was heavy. Yeah. He's a pretty good sized hog. It wouldn't be so bad if it wouldn't got so cold today. I wasn't really too crazy about coming. Yeah, it's in the 40s and my feet are wet now. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too crazy about coming to begin with because of that, but it worked out okay. I'm gonna drag him right up here. Mm -hmm. And me and you are gonna bank. try to get him up on the bank. Okay. Huh? Both of them, both of his front ones are yeah, white. Like this, yeah. Yep, let's go get another. It's my turn to kill something. We don't have you a gun. I'm gonna use yours. Nope, this is my gun. You ain't touching it. I'm touching it. Nope, there'll be no touching it. I'm touching it. You, you have to fight me for it. I can push you in the creek. at eotechinc.com. Alamo Precision Rifles. The best rifles this side of the Pecos. aprifles.com. Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Pink's Paint and Body. Decatur, Texas. Mallory Orthodontics, MalloryOrtho.com 2K Pond and Gun, Decatur, Texas Carrillo and Tibbles, Attorney at Law